Good morning, everyone, on a crisp morning. Uh, my name is Dan Joyman. I'm the executive director of the Office of Advocacy and Reform in the governor's office. I am very honored to be with you all this morning as Pennsylvania recognizes this national day of racial healing. And so days like today are important because racial trauma runs deep in our commonwealth and in our country. And it is not until we fully face it and give it space to be expressed and give it words and that we truly listen that we can heal our communities. I challenge each one of you, I challenge myself to ask, how can I help? How can I contribute to racial healing in my community? How can I make it better? How can I solve it? And then just get up and do it. The reason that I'm here today is because of my response to that question that I would asked myself. An amazing artist by the name of Brian Bowens decided that he was going to use his God-given talent to communicate how he was feeling in that moment as a black man in America. The challenge that it presented to him was a unique one because of the way that Brian chooses to express himself, to create art that will move in a unifying way. And that is exactly what my intention was when I had set out to share this documentary, which is also entitled Symbol of Solidarity, because I wanted my contributions as an artist to also be one that would uplift. What I want for my daughter is for her to know that she inherited her thick, brown, beautiful hair from her Taino ancestors. But I also want her to know that 100, 180 indigenous children are buried at an Indian school in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I want my daughter to know that she inherited her beautiful skin complexion from her African ancestors. But I also want her to learn of the pain that they endured because of the color of their skin. I want my daughter to know that our Spanish language comes from our European ancestors who occupy the Iberian Peninsula, but I also want her to learn of the Moors of Spain and all of their beautiful contributions. I want her to live in a world where she is free to love herself while also understanding that others have suffered and continue to suffer in pursuit of liberation. And I don't just want that for her, I want that for all of us. We're here today in Jenkintown Jenkintown because of the courage and determination of Brian Bowens, Esteban Serrano, Eric Blackerby, and countless others who came together and connected to share their art. To remind us of who we are, what we believe, and what we can do. And we're also here because of you. Each of you here and you out there watching remote, we're here because of you. Because each of you is an artist too. With that, uh, we would like to invite you all to join us in a solidarity walk to the, the mural. Um, we will follow our artists as we always should. Um, thank you all for being here and we will see you at the mural. <laughs>